After these things the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram, I am your shield, your reward shall be very great. And God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven, and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. And that very night the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the God of your father Abraham, do not be afraid, for I am with you and will bless you and make your offspring numerous for my servant Abraham's sake. When she was in her hard labor, the midwife said to her, Do not be afraid, for now you will have another son. He replied, Rest assured, do not be afraid, your God and the God of your father must have put treasure in your sacks for you, I received your money. Then he brought Simeon out to them. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father, do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make of you a great nation there. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? So have no fear, I myself will provide for you and your little ones. In this way he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, stand firm, and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today you shall never see again. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you do not sin. And I will grant peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and no one shall make you afraid. I will remove dangerous animals from the land, and no sword shall go through your land. Only, do not rebel against the Lord, and do not fear the people of the land, for they are no more than bread for us, their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us, do not fear them. But the Lord said to Moses, Do not be afraid of him, for I have given him into your hand, with all his people, and all his land. You shall do to him as you did to King Sihon of the Amorites, who ruled in Heshbon. You must not be partial in judging, hear out the small and the great alike, you shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. Any case that is too hard for you, bring to me, and I will hear it. See, the Lord your God has given the land to you, go up, take possession, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you, do not fear or be dismayed. I said to you, have no dread or fear of them. The Lord said to me, do not fear him, for I have handed him over to you, along with his people and his land. Do to him as you did to King Sihon of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon. Do not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. Do not be afraid of them. Just remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. When you go out to war against your enemies, and see horses and chariots, an army larger than your own, you shall not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. And shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are drawing near to do battle against your enemies. Do not lose heart, or be afraid, or panic, or be in dread of them. Be strong and bold, have no fear or dread of them, because it is the Lord your God who goes with you, he will not fail you or forsake you. It is the Lord who goes before you, he will be with you, he will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear or be dismayed, take all the fighting men with you, and go up now to Ai. 
See, I have handed over to you the king of Ai with his people, his city, and his land. The Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have handed them over to you, not one of them shall stand before you. And Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid or dismayed, be strong and courageous, for thus the Lord will do to all the enemies against whom you fight. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them, for tomorrow at this time I will hand over all of them, slain, to Israel. You shall hamstring their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. Jael came out to meet Sisera, and said to him, Turn aside, my lord, turn aside to me, have no fear. So he turned aside to her into the tent, and she covered him with a rug. But the Lord said to him, Peace be to you, do not fear, you shall not die. And now, my daughter, do not be afraid, I will do for you all that you ask, for all the assembly of my people know that you are a worthy woman. As she was about to die, the woman attending her said to her, Do not be afraid, for you have borne a son. But she did not answer or give heed. And Samuel said to the people, Do not be afraid, you have done all this evil, yet do not turn aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. Stay with me, and do not be afraid, for the one who seeks my life seeks your life, you will be safe with me. He said to him, Do not be afraid, for the hand of my father Saul shall not find you. You shall be king over Israel, and I shall be second to you. My father Saul also knows that this is so. The king said to her, Have no fear, what do you see? The woman said to Saul, I see a divine being coming up out of the ground. David said to him, Do not be afraid, for I will show you kindness for the sake of your father Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land of your grandfather Saul, and you yourself shall eat at my table always. Then Absalom commanded his servants, Watch when Amnon's heart is merry with wine, and when I say to you, Strike Amnon, then kill him. Do not be afraid, have I not myself commanded you? Be courageous and valiant. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid, Go and do as you have said, but first make me a little cake of it and bring it to me, and afterwards make something for yourself and your son. Then the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Go down with him, do not be afraid of him. So he set out and went down with him to the king. He replied, Do not be afraid, for there are more with us than there are with them. Isaiah said to them, Say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid because of the words that you have heard, with which the servants of the king of Assyria have reviled me. Write single quotation mark. Jedalia swore to them and their men, saying, Do not be afraid because of the Chaldean officials, live in the land, serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. Then you will prosper if you are careful to observe the statutes and the ordinances that the Lord commanded Moses for Israel. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid or dismayed. David said further to his son Solomon, Be strong and of good courage, and act. Do not be afraid or dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. He said, Listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, and King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, Do not fear or be dismayed at this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. This battle is not for you to fight, take your position, stand still and see the victory of the Lord on your behalf, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed, tomorrow go out against them, 
and the Lord will be with you. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid or dismayed before the king of Assyria, and all the horde that is with him. For there is one greater with us than with him. After I looked these things over, I stood up and said to the nobles and the officials and the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your kin, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. Surely then you will lift up your face without blemish, you will be secure, and will not fear. Their houses are safe from fear, and no rod of God is upon them. No fear of me need terrify you, my pressure will not be heavy on you. It deals cruelly with its young, as if they were not its own, though its labor should be in vain, yet it has no fear. It laughs at fear, and is not dismayed, it does not turn back from the sword. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. Do not be afraid when some become rich, when the wealth of their houses increases. Almost high, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid, what can flesh do to me? In God I trust, I am not afraid, what can a mere mortal do to me? He led them in safety, so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day. They are not afraid of evil tidings, their hearts are firm, secure in the Lord. Their hearts are steady, they will not be afraid, in the end they will look in triumph on their foes. With the Lord on my side I do not fear, what can mortals do to me? If you sit down, you will not be afraid, when you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden panic, or of the storm that strikes the wicked. She is not afraid for her household when it snows, for all her household are clothed in crimson. A wooden beam firmly bonded in her building is not loosened by an earthquake. So the mind firmly resolved after due reflection will not be afraid in a crisis. And say to him, Take heed, be quiet, do not fear, and do not let your heart be faint because of these two smoldering stumps of firebrands, because of the fierce anger of Rezin and Aram and the son of Remalia. Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what it fears, or be in dread. Therefore thus says the Lord God of hosts, O my people, who live in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrians when they beat you with a rod and lift up their staff against you as the Egyptians did. Surely God is my salvation, I will trust, and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my might, he has become my salvation. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Isaiah said to them, Say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid because of the words that you have heard, 
with which the servants of the king of Assyria have reviled me. Right single quotation mark. Get you up to high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings, lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up, do not fear, say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Right single quotation mark. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand, it is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. Right single quotation mark. Do not fear, you worm Jacob, you insect Israel. I will help you, says the Lord, your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. Do not fear, for I am with you, I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. Thus says the Lord who made you, who formed you in the womb and will help you. Do not fear, O Jacob my servant, Jeshurun whom I have chosen. Do not fear, or be afraid, have I not told you from of old and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? There is no other rock, I know not one. Listen to me, you who know righteousness. You people who have my teaching in your hearts, do not fear the reproach of others, and do not be dismayed when they revile you. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, do not be discouraged, for you will not suffer disgrace, for you will forget the shame of your youth, and the disgrace of your widowhood you will remember no more. In righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Their idols are like scarecrows in a cucumber field, and they cannot speak, they have to be carried, for they cannot walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, nor is it in them to do good. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer, or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. But as for you, have no fear, my servant Jacob, says the Lord, and do not be dismayed, O Israel, for I am going to save you from far away, and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease, and no one shall make him afraid. Jedaliah son of Adikim son of Shaphan swore to them and their troops, saying, do not be afraid to serve the Chaldeans. Stay in the land and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall go well with you. Do not be afraid of the king of Babylon, as you have been. Do not be afraid of him, says the Lord, for I am with you, to save you and to rescue you from his hand. But as for you, have no fear, my servant Jacob, and do not be dismayed, O Israel, for I am going to save you from far away, and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease, and no one shall make him afraid. As for you, have no fear, my servant Jacob, says the Lord, for I am with you. I will make an end of all the nations among which I have banished you, but I will not make an end of you. I will chastise you in just measure, and I will by no means leave you unpunished. 
Do not be faint-hearted or fearful at the rumors heard in the land. One year one rumor comes, the next year another, rumors of violence in the land and of ruler against ruler. You came near when I called on you, you said, do not fear. And you, O oh mortal, do not be afraid of them, and do not be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns surround you and you live among scorpions. Do not be afraid of their words, and do not be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. Like the hardest stone, harder than flint, I have made your forehead. Do not fear them or be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. He said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding, and to humble yourself before your God. Your words have been heard, and I have come because of your words. He said, Do not fear, greatly beloved, you are safe. Be strong and courageous. When he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Do not fear, O soil, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green, the tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and vine give their full yield. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you, he has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst, you shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, do not fear, O Zion, do not let your hands grow weak. My spirit abides among you, do not fear. Just as you have been a cursing among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so I will save you and you shall be a blessing. Do not be afraid, but let your hands be strong. So again I have purposed in these days to do good to Jerusalem, and to the house of Judah, do not be afraid. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified, and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. That we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, from now on you will be catching people. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? You of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. When Jesus heard this, he replied, Do not fear, only believe and she will be saved. So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. So do not be afraid, you are of more value than many sparrows. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear, fear him who, 
after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid, you are of more value than many sparrows. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. For they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed, this must take place, but the end is still to come. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. For fear of him the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who is crucified. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. One night the Lord said to Paul in a vision, Do not be afraid, but speak and do not be silent. Do not be afraid, Paul, you must stand before the emperor, and indeed, God has granted safety to all those who are sailing with you. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father. For rulers are not a terror, lit, not a cause for fear, to good conduct, but to bad. Do you wish to have no fear of the authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive its approval. If Timothy comes, see that he has nothing to fear among you, for he is doing the work of the Lord just as I am. And most of the brothers and sisters, having been made confident in the Lord by my imprisonment, dare to speak the word with greater boldness and without fear. I will know that you are in no way intimidated by your opponents. For them this is evidence of their destruction, but of your salvation. And this is God's doing. Not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as though from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. By faith Moses was hidden by his parents for three months after his birth, because they saw that the child was beautiful, and they were not afraid of the king's edict. By faith he left Egypt, unafraid of the king's anger, for he persevered as though he saw him who is invisible. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Thus Sarah obeyed Abraham and called him Lord. You have become her daughters as long as you do what is good and never let fears alarm you. But even if you do suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. 
Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Beware, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison so that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have affliction. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life.